when the narcissist meets a real one. When they meet an authentic person. Someone who is genuine. Someone who is following their purpose. Someone who lives a life of meaning. Someone who is self-aware. They can recognize their strengths and weaknesses. They're confident and in control of their feelings. They're self-composed. They're calm, cool and collected. Things don't really bother them that much. This is what I would define as a real one. An authentic person. Now what happens when the narcissist meets a real one? It's interesting. Because a real one will show calmness in a crisis. Things don't really get to them. They don't personalize it. Because they're authentic. They know who they are. They will recognize the situation for what it is. They will recognize the narcissist's behavior. But they're not going to blame themselves. They're not going to question themselves and wonder if it's something they said or did. Because they know who they are. They know what they're responsible for and what they're not responsible for. They don't take on other people's stuff. But that doesn't mean that they've never been involved in a difficult situation. They've experienced trauma. They've been through a lot of things. And that's what made them who they are today. They know how to deal with it now. But they don't let these experiences change who they are. They stay the same. Despite what is happening outside of them. They don't let it change them. Instead, they try to remove themselves from the situation at the earliest opportunity. As soon as they realize that something is not right. They may express how they feel about the situation. But they're not worried about being judged. They're self-composed. They have control over their emotions. So when they're around a narcissist, it doesn't irritate or upset them. They don't fall for the narcissist game because they're wise. They have experience, knowledge and good judgment. They're aware of what is happening. So they know how to respond to it. When the narcissist meets a real one, they get very frustrated. They experience distress and annoyance because of their inability to manipulate and control them. Because they feel like they are being prevented from succeeding in their desired objective.
the narcissist tricks may have worked well on other people. But they won't work as well on a real one. They might acknowledge what the narcissist is saying or doing, but they won't get angry. They won't let it affect them. So naturally, this puts the narcissist in a very difficult situation because they can't love bomb someone like this. They can't get the validation that they need because a real one is not going to respond to attention seeking behavior. But they're also not going to shame the narcissist. They won't feel the need to put them down. They won't put any extra focus on the narcissist. They will try to direct the engagement in a more positive and uplifting direction. But they will also know when they need to walk away and they won't do it in an offensive way. They will leave in a courteous, kind and pleasant manner. But they also won't be afraid to express how they feel. They will say if they felt uncomfortable. They're authentic. They speak the truth. And truth kills the narcissist. Narcissists can't deal with the truth. They can't deal with reality. They have to create a false narrative and try to get everyone else to validate it. But when you speak the truth, you take away their power. You put an end to their game. A real one is not going to identify with the narcissist's problems. They're going to realize that it has nothing to do with them. And they're also not going to enable the narcissist's behavior. They will leave at the earliest opportunity rather than listening to the narcissist be in the center of attention amidst their crowd of admirers or subordinates. But that doesn't mean that they haven't had narcissistic relationships in the past. That doesn't mean that they've never been affected by anyone. They may have had several narcissistic relationships until they did the inner work and learnt those lessons and started distancing themselves from the expectations of other people. Because fulfilling these expectations is what enables the narcissist behavior A real one will walk away before the narcissist is able to exploit them. How does the narcissist feel when they are around a real one? While a normal person may admire and respect them for their authenticity, the narcissist will have a lot of bad things to say about them. They will say that there's something wrong with them or that they're rude or antisocial. They will be very disrespectful and insulting towards the real one. They will treat them as if they're beneath their consideration.
because it's causing them anxiety and distress to be around an authentic person. They know that the real one can see through them. They can see through the facade. They know what the narcissist is really about. And the narcissist does not like it. It makes them feel very uncomfortable. So they will insult the real one. They will try to turn people against them. They will make fun of them. And then they will do anything they can to avoid them. Narcissists are afraid of real ones. They are afraid of authentic people. So they're not even going to try to manipulate them. They're only looking for people who are going to validate the illusion. Before they met you, they may have tried it with other people and it didn't work. They're not going to keep trying to pull a real one back in because they feel very uncomfortable to even be around them. They feel vulnerable. They feel exposed. The more real and authentic you are, the more you will repel the narcissist. the more you will push the narcissist away because the narcissist wants nothing to do with authenticity. They want nothing to do with truth or reality. When you are involved with a narcissist, they demand and expect you to make a choice between them and the truth, between the illusion and reality. You can never connect to a narcissist directly. And they can never connect to you. Everything is filtered through the illusion. It is filtered through their fantasy world. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.